Welcome to the show, everyone. Today it's all about shaking up your space and getting a great new look without having to do a major reno. Please welcome Ram Sakachi. <laughs> you got so much. Fun. Let's shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Okay, what are you going to start with first? Well, let's start with walls. Simple solution for walls. You know, renovations are expensive. And I often I go in and people have a budget for renos and they never think about decor. Yeah. Decor is more important than reno. If right. your space works, Decorate it because sure, you can do so sure. many beautiful things. So starting with, I've always you know brought this to the show of, of wallpaper. Wallpaper yeah. we all know, commercial wallpaper, mm -hmm. very economical, beautiful patterns, easy to install, very durable. Let's okay, take a look at these. So these that's very else. simple. That's just something simple. Yeah. But beyond that, it, they've gotten even nicer. So companies like Philip Jeffries do these beautiful digital patterns on canvas. This is actually wow. canvas for the wall. Wow. So it's like a piece of art. So it comes numbered, and then yeah. you put them on, and your entire wall becomes this beautiful pattern. Wow. So it's all about bold patterns. It's all about individuality. Are they, learn are they using a lot of what was just for homes only, it, more retail space sort of things for us to put in our home? It all starts design? there. So you yeah. know, I go to hospitality and design. It yeah. all starts there yes. and then trickles down into the homes. Yeah. So what we were using this stuff uh, for, very expensive in commercial environments. Now it's become more economical and usable so cool. in residential environments. So a company called um, Arte has an Intrigue series, which is heat, um, it's heat treated and pressed. So you get this pattern in, in these wallpapers. So it's actually textured. So, you know, we've got a photo and I think if they have sure. it, it's a, of a room that's got actually like a wainscoting pattern okay. on the walls. Let's take and the beauty of this is one, it gives that's you texture, cool, right? And two, if you have a room that has a lot of echo in it and the sound reverberates, this is a great way to, to you know, bring that sound down yeah, and reduce good. some of that echo. So, okay, right? so let's talk, talk about like a lot of people, May, it doesn't matter how big their house is, they're putting that little theater room in their home or something oh, like that. Oh, this would be perfect for Perfect for that, so yeah. So even if you didn't do it on the yeah. entire wall, yeah. even if you did trim squares sure. and then put it inside the squares yeah. and did the same color, but then yeah. this was texture and then the Our color Our radio around. station could use this. Yeah, so seriously, <laughs> right? In a different color, So but yes, beautiful yeah. patterns, okay. so yeah. it looks fantastic. Great. Now, on the walls, there's, uh, you know, having, there's different looks that people want. One of them is that industrial look of raw concrete. So a company called Wall Theory produces these panels these are really heavy. They're concrete. Okay, I'm not touching. I'm kidding. They're styrofoam. <laughs> God, that, They're what styrofoam. Is, well, there's a guy that's <laughs> Can you working believe on it. Well, so this looks great. This is actually like cast concrete with these rebar holes wow. in it and everything. And it comes in a couple of different colors. Whoops. And uh, you can put those. Here, you can literally glue one. them to the wall. Here. Right? And yeah. in addition to that, uh -huh. they've got different patterns that you glue to the wall, whether it's brick or stone. So you can have the look of brick. And they just key together. So you can take a wall. Um, in your loft, in your home, sure. put the brick on it from wall to wall, floor to ceiling. You don't even need baseboard. It'll go right to the floor. Can you, can the you put brick. this behind like a, an oven or is it flame retardant and everything no. like that? Okay. No. So I wouldn't recommend you know, this like for, no, what, like I wouldn't re wall, a backsplash like a needs no. to be fire return. No. Like, Got it. You know, you can't Got it. It burn. But so what a great idea. Good. But okay. these are fantastic, easy yeah. fixes to get some real impact in a space. Okay. Now. Right? Mm -hmm. So, moving on to um, artwork. Artwork. Yeah. So, um, before we go on to that, there, there's another oh. product here. It's called Kuvo from Lumacore. These are panels, individual panels that are lightweight again. So, this looks like concrete, this looks like uh, copper, aged copper, and this okay. looks like wood. So, when you look at that one I put there, those three groupings right here. Imagine yeah. the entire wall like that. So, that is another way to treat a wall with simple. Uh, stick-on pieces that you get this 3D texture on an entire They're wall. They're stick-on pieces? Well, these are all stick-on, individual. Wow. I, I tape those on. You can literally tape yeah. them on. So where would you put that? Give me an installation thought. I, I would put that as an accent wall in a family room, okay. downstairs in the basement. Yeah. Uh, if you had a loft with a massive wall that, that's just a bare open wall that you yeah. don't know how to treat, that's a great way yeah. to bring some texture and warm it up. Right? All right. So yeah. let's get into artwork. So when it comes to artwork, um, some areas are really hard to treat. Uh, some big walls that, mm -hmm. for instance, stairwells, where you got the stairway going upstairs and you got that massive wall. People struggle with that, so often they put one piece of art or a few pieces of or art nothing. or nothing. Or nothing. And and, and when okay you put art, well, <laughs> art doesn't work to me because it's often like t five, eight feet yeah. over your head, you and this is not the right that. thing. Mm. So to me, something more organic, like like wall art, whether it's these pieces from Morgan Barn or or these pieces from LT, these come in larger format as well, so you can do something organic. Um, there's a picture of one we did with larger pieces. 
on a wall, and uh, they'll bring that up right now, and you'll see that. That really fills the space nicely, that one there. So it was a massive staircase, and that creates an artwork on the wall, Plus creates an installation, too. right? It's, it's nice. reflective as well. Yeah, yeah. But I also went a step further in my own place. I had some made. I had these discs made by a ceramic artist. Yeah. So if you're into ceramics, or if you know somebody, I, I was really specific on what I wanted. I wanted different sizes. And then I took some uh, glue, and I uh -huh. glued these anchors onto the back, so they screw into the drywall. So the end result, is this photo here and yeah. you'll see it. it it creates this organic look on the wall okay uh -huh. and what's beautiful is as the sun comes up and the windows right there it changes throughout the day because oh, the shadows move. pretty so these are great ways to create interest mm -hmm. in a space right now let's go to the ceiling I don't want you to forget about the ceiling yeah. uh, the ceiling is something really spectacular imagine a powder room that you do something beautiful in um, whether you do like my powder room is black mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so I would love to actually put something like this which is a gold leaf paper on the ceiling so this is a wallpaper that's actual gold leaf and you put this on the ceiling and it does it, it results in a spectacular Beautiful. look this one is silver leaf and this is like an antique silver mirror so just talk about right? just on the, on the just ceiling, on the ceiling. Yeah. use it sparingly mm -hmm. but these are little hits of interest that really make a space unique because mm -hmm. that's what it's all about it's yeah. about individuality yeah and then uh, Philip Jeffries has these which are veneer products and these are actual wood veneers so imagine oh, wallpapering wow. a ceiling in these wood veneer panels. Really pretty. These are stunning. So yeah. again, look at these materials that are easily installed. They make great impact Even in the space. Even though they might be a little expensive, you're not putting it in a well, big wall. Well, you use right. these things sparingly. Right, right, right. Something like this Love is very these. inexpensive. So Love tin that. ceilings from the early 1900s are back. Um, we're doing a distillery in Guelph, and I'm doing a seating area with this tin ceiling over top just to bring that feeling of the early 1900s distillery, yeah, yeah. micro distillery. And, and then they so come good. in different colors and patterns and they even have the crown molding that yeah. goes around the outside. Uh -huh. So it all overlaps and you nail it with finishing nails. Sure. So it's so easy to install and creates a great impact in any space. I went to an right? old car dealership. Don't ask why I was there. I went to an old car dealership <laughs> in the middle of nowhere in Idaho with a friend of mine, Stephen, and they made it into a bakery. The Mennonites worked as they, they, they quilt there and everything. And I looked up of these beautiful ceilings and it was all of this Tin. because they said it was the ceilings were so imperfect that's why they did yeah. that and then they painted it out it's gorgeous so that's a great point Kathy gorgeous. made that earlier yeah. the floor producer is that if you have ceilings that are in rough shape yeah any of these solutions or if you have walls that are in rough shape sure. any of these solutions are a great solution instead of renovation okay let's right? talk lighting so let's talk lighting before we go around front yeah. Um, I think lighting is very underrated. Uh, spending good money on nice fixtures rather than mm -hmm. renovating. When you walk in a room and you see a spectacular light fixture, and I'll show some pictures here, yeah. it really steals the room and gives the impact to the room. So when you have a stunning light fixture, mm -hmm. it really says it all. And it's you don't art. notice anything yeah. else. It's an art installation. It's art. It's yeah. a major art installation. Mm -hmm. So you can go very ornate or that's beautiful. Like, look mm -hmm. at those. Those are little trumpets. Amanda and, Forrest loves all that stuff, yeah. too. I, I love it, too. Well, she's over the top. I, I, that's what yeah, it's all about, right? Being over the top and very unique. Next and, and individualism, right? Yeah. So, now, you have to love it because it's an investment and it's got to be there for a long time. Yes, it does. Now, other things you can inject some character and interest in a space. Rugs, I think, are a great investment. Within reason, you don't want to go spend 20000 30000 because then it's into collectible antiques, and I don't think that's worth it. But you can get into reasonable price components, like these cowhides here are beautiful patterns. These are actual cowhides. Wow. See, so this one here and the one on the end as well with the chevron oh, pattern. Yeah. And then this cowhide here, something as simple as that with a beautiful beautiful color, yeah. you can add some impact to a space. There are fake ones at Ikea and, they, and that's what they use when they do Game of Thrones. They yeah. throw <laughs> throws on their back from Ikea. Well, Just I thought I'd give you that information. <laughs> I went, wait a minute, I've got one of those in my kitchen. That's not such a bad thing because those ones after a couple no, of years, you don't feel bad throwing no, them out, no, right? No, I think it's awesome. I go, well, Seriously. there's a little thing we'll do on Fashion Friday. <laughs> Take the throw from Thursday, put it on Friday. Okay, we have one minute left. Well, I didn't know that. Anyways, no, so I'm, I'm you can go as far as yeah, no, I could. I we go as far as creating something very unique. Like LT yeah. has a custom program, so you can take this pattern and do it in yeah. any color, okay. and they'll make it for you. All okay? right. Lastly, can I just show sure you can here? Um, Talk about injecting some character. This lamp is beautiful, but what I love about this lamp, you may not notice right off the bat, yeah. but there's no crosses at the top, right? Oh it yeah. It sits on the base, oh, wow. which I think is so beautiful. Why and do we love that so much? Because it's different and clean and simple. But we love right? it, right? Seriously. 
And then look what at... A, what a concept. Yeah. Look at something unique in everything you buy, okay? So whether it's this stool here or this one with the fringes or, or bold patterns in your pull -up pillows mm -hmm. or all about detail, beautiful fabrics. Beautiful. So it's all about injecting personal style in everything that you So the, the whole deal is if you, if you, you don't need to renovate, renovate necessarily, just look at the space. If it's still okay, add some pieces yes, to it. Yes, cut back on your renovation okay. budget. Seriously, spend more on decorating. Yes. <laughs> You know, in Game of Thrones, they actually wear this stool as well. Really? One of the best places to get design inspiration for your next renovation is at the Interior Design Show. You're all getting tickets! Yeah. Thank you very much.